Hi, my name's Sean, I am a renewable energy engineer. And my name's James, and I'm a chemical engineer. And today... And hey, how you doing? <laughs> Talking to dogs. No, it's a good <laughs> Well, basically what we've done is... What have we done? We've built some sort of a device that is designed to play beer pong better than we can. Yeah. Um, there's no promises if the design will, but um, yeah. So how long did it take you to build yours? Uh, it took me two days. I, I spent after work um, just putting things together and trips to Bunnings. Um, I mean, the classic phrase is, if it looks stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. It's pretty much my design in a nutshell. Um, how about you? So basically, uh, in doing this, I basically finished my degree last week, and then the Sunday of finishing, I went to my favourite place, which is uh, none other than the one really Bunnings Warehouse. Yeah, can you sponsor us, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I had a look around Bunnings and had no idea what I was doing. I was pretty much looking up YouTube videos of like how this stuff worked, because my degree has no background in materials or mechanical things or trying to put things together. So I just basically went to Bunnings, went to Officeworks, just bought random materials and thought, how can I build something out of mm. this? So I went home and then looked at it and then I was like, I'm not doing this tonight. So the next day after work, I spent about two, three hours um, just putting stuff together and conceptualizing. And I thought, maybe this will work. And then when I went to test my design, it broke straight away. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that's not engineering um, life. I don't know what it is. Yeah, exactly. So then, but I didn't see the idea from that. So I kept trying to attempt it. And eventually I just modified it a bit and got something that's like pretty uh, averagely working. But we'll see how that actually turns out in the next yeah. half, five to ten minutes, huh? So, um, yeah, uh, James, who do you reckon's going to win? Um, look, based on prior experience and, like, you know, me and Sean have been mates for a substantial amount of years and knowing the projects you've worked on, I'd say you've got a good chance. This is my first hands-on project, but um, I'm hoping it's not an absolute embarrassment, but I do think I have a good chance. Um, hanging around with Sean, you do understand his demeanour and his problem-solving aptitude, so, yeah. Yeah, look, it sounds like we've both got some pretty good designs, and we haven't seen each other's designs, by the way. This is completely new for us, so... Um, without further ado, let's have a look at them, mate. Let's do it. Um, show us your design. So in my three days of designing some sort of a, what I probably would call device, um, I've designed a little thing that I like to call ping em where it hurts. Basically this design oh, works. Um, it's a handheld device, but I have built a holder just in case for when I modify it in the future. Um, the way it works is it uses a DC motor to project a rotational force to get the ball um, very similar to a baseball design. So it has this switch here, the ball is fed um, on an angle. Once the ball is fed, it's projected into the cup. Um, but basically the way the design works is uh, the rotation and the angle you shoot it on determines your projectile. So the lower you do it, the higher projectile you'll get, but the lower it will go, whereas the flatter you would do it, the more of a para parabolic shape you would get, but it won't go as further. So it's up to you to find the sweet spot, and it's basically dependent on skill. Alrighty, Sean, show us what you have. All right, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce you Apollo. Apollo uh, is my new design. Um, my version of a low-tech launcher. Um, $50 for all the stuff, most of this is recycled wood. Pretty much the idea behind it is the ping pong ball fits perfectly into that tube. This two springs, launch back like a lock, shoots forward that way. Here is a little Arduino, and so if you can't really see it, by flicking this switch, it opens up the, uh, the lock, I guess. Pull the string down, put it over here, close, locks in place, and so when you want to shoot, boom. Um, so we'll do a few shots, but yeah, this is the Apollo.
It's gonna be nothing. It's the win. Oh! Yes, oh. that's a shot. One shot. Oh. Oh. Yes! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, so it's been a few days since we finished the design. We've pretty much just finished the first edit of the video. Um, and so with that, how do you think you went, James? Yeah, look, as expected, there were a couple of hiccups and hurdles. I was pretty happy overall with how everything went, you know, how easy my design was to use compared to how I played beer pong, trying to aim for the cup, <laughs> getting caught in the wind, all the little excuses we make. I feel like this kind of overcame that. So by the end of it, I guess 75% of my shots were going within like, you know, 50 centimeters of that cup range. So for our first project, I was pretty happy with, uh, how everything went. What about yourself? Yeah, look, I was, I was really happy with my design. I mean, it obviously won, um, but I kept finding as the day progressed, like inefficiencies that I would have worked on. And if I designed it again, knowing what I know now, I think I'd have a completely different design. Um, 100%, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the way you find these engineering yeah. projects. You always find uh, new things and yeah. always new efficiencies and accuracy and whatnot. Yeah. I think in the interest of the project scope, you know, having less than a week, trying to use as less least money and least amount of materials yeah, uh, we yeah. did pretty good considering um you know moving forward obviously we'll have bigger projects that we do over a month or mm. two months that we can put more thought into and even work on together so this is kind of something to i guess break the ice of both of us and yeah test our abilities and yeah a bit of competition but it's a bit of fun so yeah and looking at that video it was so much fun and yeah. even editing was so much fun um, something I did notice from the video is I'm a really shit winner. Fair shot, baby! Yeah. Oh! Hey! Oh. That was not the cup oh. on the table. Oh, it's oh. like a hole in it! Oh. It's broken it. Last cup, baby. Oh! oh. Yeah. Yes! Oh, oh. My God. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes! One! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real prick. I'm not modest at all. Yeah. Um, Why any excuse to drink beer though? Absolutely, absolutely. You don't need a much excuse for us anyways. <laughs> um, but also like, I don't think we were that much faster than playing beer pong. It still took about 45 minutes for that game. Yeah. We missed so many times. We're going to put a compilation. Um, I recommend watching it with your eyes closed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I ideally like looking at these two projects, looking at the project that we had, and the two designs we had with the exact same circumstances and just our knowledge base. It's amazing to see completely different designs here between the both of us, who are yeah. quite similar human beings. Um, ideally, I'd like to open up this challenge to other people and see what they can come up with, because I think that'd be a really interesting, uh, fun Absolutely. challenge. Absolutely. Give, give you something to do other than boring calculus homework for all the yeah, uni exactly. and college students. And if you have any recommendations on what you'd like to see us do in the future, Please feel free to comment. Yeah. We're open to ideas. Yeah, obviously we're, we we want to challenge ourselves, so please give us something to, to build. Well, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. Congratulations. So well hey, a win. Thank you. A bit until of bragging rights. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Yep. Uh, until next time. See you later. <laughs>